first, let's look at this cow snagged by a giant bee. As the bee ascended, it got the cow stuck in these fibrous branches. These scraggly branches represent cirrhosis. In cirrhosis, hepatocytes become fibrotic and gnarled, kind of like these branches are. The fact that these branches, like a long, gnarly fibers, are wrapping around the cow, the cow with that liver-shaped spot, should help you remember the fibrotic changes that occur in the liver in cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis can progress to hepatocellular carcinoma. To help you remember this, we've added a big pink ribbon to the cow, which is our recurring symbol for cancer. The fact that this ribbon is on that cow, which represents liver cirrhosis, should help you remember that cirrhosis can lead to cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma. Now look at this cow down here on the ground. She has a cancer ribbon, but she's not caught in those gnarled fibrous branches. This represents the fact that the patients with chronic hepatitis B infections can actually develop hepatocellular carcinoma even without first progressing to liver cirrhosis. Some chronic hep B patients skip the cirrhosis and go straight for the cancer. Now look at this cow here. It's stuck in the stable just underneath the cirrhotic scraggly tree. The bee trying to take it away cannot because it's blocked by the roof of the stable. This represents chronic infections that are stable and do not progress to cirrhosis or cancer. Now this cow has just been stung by a bee and is now being taken off. I guess the cow must have struggled and fought too much, so the bee just killed him. That poor cow is shriveled up and dead now. The bee sting must be pretty toxic. Anyways, this necrotic looking cow represents liver necrosis and death, or the fulminant liver failure that can occur during the acute phase. Now, as mentioned before, the most common outcome of hepatitis B infections is simply acute hepatitis. This includes fever, arthralgias, and sometimes a rash. To represent this, we have this cow getting smacked and scraped up against this tree as it ascends. And you can see those banged up joints representing arthralgias, and you can see the rash from the scraping against the tree. As with most infections of any kind, acute hepatitis can cause fever. To help you remember this, we have this old oil lamp hanging from this tree branch here. We like to use lamps like this to represent fever. Acute hepatitis, inflammation of the liver, can cause jaundice. To help you remember this, we have included this cow totally drenched in honey. Now it has this orange-yellow color. This bee, getting ready for an epic feast, covered it in honey. In any case, this yellow honey-drenched cow represents jaundice. Now we have this kid over here to the right. Look how happy he is. He's giving a thumbs up. He's pretty happy that his precious cow hasn't been harmed by the bees. Look at that cow, it's totally safe. The unharmed cow and the happy boy represent an asymptomatic presentation, which commonly occurs in acute hepatitis. This can also be called anicteric hepatitis, meaning there's no scleral icterus or jaundice in the patient because they are asymptomatic. To emphasize that acute hepatitis with resolution is the most common outcome, we have shown several bees with several of these cows representing acute hepatitis. So again, acute hepatitis with resolution, whether or not it's symptomatic, is more common than liver failure, chronic hepatitis with or without cirrhosis, or hepatitis that becomes cancer.